John, just kind of after that first quarter, you know, you know, we're scoring and then kind of a lull. But what was it y'all were able to kind of get going again with, with the offense in that second half? Uh, really just trying to execute plays. You know, we had a couple mistakes in the first half. I know I had dropped the pass early in the game. I was just trying to just, whenever I had another opportunity, just make a play, and I did later in the game. So we just trying to keep making plays when we had the opportunity and not hurt ourselves. Jonathan, you're, you're a senior. You've seen a lot of younger players come through. To see what, like, Quinshawn has done. He had one over 1,000 yards for the season today. It's his 19th birthday. All right, just, how rare is it to see a guy like him? Uh, you know, Q is special. You know, he's probably like one of them once in a lifetime type players, and it's crazy he's a freshman because we get to have him for at least two more years here. So it's just crazy he just turned 19 today, so he's a very special player. You got a cake for him on the plane or anything like that? Nah, probably probably when we get back. No, not not even on the plane. Did you uh, do you know what was going on when they threw the flag on your touchdown? Were you just confident that's a score? Yeah, I knew, like, they be trying to, referees I would be trying to check in on all the slip passes all the time. I knew I stayed behind the line of scrimmage, but, you know, they try to find something with everything we do. So, I wasn't really too mad about it. I knew it was a touchdown. Getting Zach back even, what he was able to, to offer, does that kind of provide a spark for y'all, having both of those guys back there? Yeah, you know, Q had a lot of carries today, so whenever Zach came in, he gave the uh, offensive line to have fresh legs behind him. So, once Zach gets all the way healthy, you can just keep putting in fresh legs and get the other running back a break. So, it's great to have Zach back. When it's obviously a run heavy scheme, but as it was today for you and the other guys, how do y'all kind of approach that heading into a game? You know, maybe it's going to be more focused on the ground. Uh, we just try to uh, just focus on our perimeter block and, you know, make plays on the outside and just block the, uh, the balls going outside so we can take stress out the offensive line so they can have more energy in the game. So we just try to take advantage of what the defense gives us. I know Dayton's more than a regular walk-on, but just kind of seeing what he's been able to do as a non-scholarship player, how, how impressed are you guys in the receiver room? Yeah, you know, every game, is, it's a different receiver, you know. The way he makes big plays all the time in practice, I wasn't surprised, you know. Hopefully they can put him on scholarship soon, but, yeah, the way is a special receiver, and he's going to be pretty big around here in a couple of years. What do you think of J.J. Piggy's uh, carrying the ball in that fake punt? Uh, you know, J.J. an athlete. You know, he played tight end coming out of high school, so I didn't know it was a fake. We had just sat down. We were just kind of mad that we weren't foreign out. Next thing you know, he did the uh, fake punt, and we were just like, okay, we're back on the field. Did you see the play? Did you have your back turned? What was that like? Nah, we had a back turn because we usually just like going over the drive and seeing what went wrong, what went wrong on the play. So we were just talking about the play and then talking about offense, offense. We were like, what happened? So. <laughs> I, I, I hope they just getting this win after last week, but now coming off a victory, heading into the bye and getting this next couple weeks off. Oh, it was big because we felt like last week was a game we definitely should have won. We just felt like we beat ourselves. So, just going out there playing four quarters, we got a lot of stuff we still need to fix. But it's big, you know, a win going to the bye week. And so, now we can get everybody healthy. We got Alabama coming up, so we can get ready for them. Jonathan, how do you motivate yourself heading into this Alabama game? Is there anything specifically you use knowing that 8-1 and one sounds good, but 9-1 and one would sound a hell of a lot better? Uh, they treat like any other game. They're trying to go one and know this. Trying to put ourselves in the best position to win. So, you know, everybody wants to win. So, that's enough motivation itself. Thanks. Anything else? Uh, right, appreciate it,